Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video I will show you step by step how to set a stop loss on your Qcoin trading bot. Now the first thing you need to do is to go over to the trading bot. So you want to go over to trade and then click on trading bot. You'll then see all the bots you can create on Qcoin and you need to go over to running. For me that's 4 bots as of right now. And then you want to select the bot you would like to set a stop loss on. For me that will be my Algorand bot I just created 16 minutes ago. Then you want to go over to details and click on parameters. You'll then see the price range, the entry price and another bit of information. Then you want to go over to stop price right here and click on set USDT. If you're trading in another pair, so maybe a Bitcoin pair, it will say set BTC for you. However, it doesn't matter which coin it is, just click on it and you then get this pop up. Now you want to go over to trading view, go over to chart and then search for the pair you would like to set the stop loss on. So in this case, for me, that's Algorand slash USDT. Algorand USDT, and then you want to select Qcoin because your bot is on Qcoin. Now you want to select the time frame you're working on. So if you're planning on trading for a couple of weeks, you might want to check the weekly charts. And if you're just trading, maybe a minutes or hours, select the right time frame for that. So for me, it's one hour. You can then zoom out a little bit, and you want to search for where you would like your stop loss to be set. For me, I would like my stop loss to be set right here because as you can see, below $1.30 or 130 USDT per Algorand coin, there is not a lot of price action. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and go over to the part or place where I would like to set my stop loss. And you can then press Alt H and you'll then see the exact price your stop loss should be on if you would like your bot to stop trading below the price. So I'm going to go ahead and set my stop loss at 1.294 USDT. So I'm going to click on set USDT and then go for 1.294 and you'll then see the current price below the price you just set your stop loss at and the price range your bot is trading on. Now please be aware that if you set a trading stop loss, the trading bot will sell algo or any other cryptocurrency when the current price is lower than the stop price. So all of my algorand will be sold into USDT. It doesn't mean that the bot stops trading. If you want your bot to stop trading below a certain price range, you just need to change the price range. However, if you actually want to set a stop loss, so if the price goes below a certain price, your bot will sell all of your coins into USDT or any other cryptocurrency, then click on confirm. If you just want your bot to stop trading, go over to the price range, click right here and change the price range. So for me that would be 1.294. And the high in this case was 145 for my bot. Then you want to just fill in the placed orders. So the grid interval, this can be anywhere between two and depending on the space between your lowest and your highest price up to 100 grids. In this case, the maximum is 26. Then you just want to click on confirm. Now I'm not going to go ahead and do this because I don't actually want to make my bot stop trading earlier. But if you do want to make your bot stop trading below the certain price, click on confirm. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.